What's going on? It's Disco Doggy here. Uh, you know what I was doing is I was trying to find a team to play with. Because, you know, I did Disco's 3 and 5 wins or bust yesterday. And I was trying to find this one team, make a new team to play with, you know. And do a team focus on it, play a bunch of battles. But I ended up making enough new teams to where I think I'm going to do 5 wins or bust yesterday. I'm almost sure to lose. What I imagine is going to happen is I'm going to go with... Uh, one of these new teams and go back to one of my 100 win club teams and then go back to the fun team because you know I've just been having fun making up new teams I, I've, I've actually made more than you see here but I deleted them <laughs> okay oh I used to like that pet uh, uh, wow a lot a lot of uh, what a frog going on there. Okay, let's see. Uh, Wolpertinger. I can't really stun him. So the plan with this team... Snap. The plan with this team is initially to start with Food Coma. And then swap out to the uh, Crimson Geode. And then put up your... Uh, Elementium Bolt, but yeah, it's not gonna work against this Wolpertinger. So you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna suck it up, and I am going to bring in this FOA because I'm sure those frogs have plenty of, you know, strong damage to, to to give me. So I might as well just take it from this guy and save my uh, save my turkey for some of those frogs because they cannot. Do anything about the the stun, the food coma, and well, I can peck them. I am going to peck them. Uh, that hurt, but you know, I think I'm okay. I think I'm doing all right. Did my food coma reset? Oh yes, it did. Oh yes, it did. We're gonna eat some frogs for dinner. I don't know. I th oh yeah, I've eaten frog before. Everyone says it tastes like chicken, you know. Everything tastes like chicken. Okay, well let's uh let's put you in a coma, my friend. And then we're gonna gonna squawk ya. What are our speeds by the way too? You know what? I'm gonna outspeed ya. Even when I lose my racial, so the only thing I really have to worry about. He's getting frog kissed, and this guy does not have frog kiss. So I do not need to worry about that. Thank you, my friend. You let my food coma reset. I actually did more damage than you healed. You are not in good shape. So, got to be careful with this team. He's still got resilience on him. Don't make the mistake of trying to put food coma on a pet that's already resilient well there you go basically this team will only win if I have a good matchup I won three battles in a row all against Heraclaw hatchlings because of that dude right there the fragment of anger I was like whoa this is pretty cool and then I lost three three battles in a row with just like to, to mediocre teams actually there was one decent team in there but um yeah what can i say i like the i like the crimson geode i didn't get to use it there uh next team i made i don't know i haven't i haven't played these you can see uh do we go with totally fun let's let's, let's save that one for later miss moonberry sure i don't know i don't know i don't know much about moonlight teams i just you know was scrolling through pets looking for pets that i don't use and i saw a cursed berman and then i saw this move set that took advantage of moonlight and then i'm like well i do kind of like the nether fairy dragon i think it's a little bit overrated i'm not going to beat this team i'm not going to come close to beating this team so 
You know, what are you going to do? Uh, let's go ahead and start with this so we can have the, the moon light up. Is it even worth dodging? I don't even think it's worth dodging because cause the back line is what's going to it's gonna get hurt here so I can ramp this up maybe get some uh, maybe get some feather <laughs> feather nether feather dragon prox this this team is just completely destroying the ability to play with fun teams and you know what I smash it I pound its face in with um, what do you call that team with Rick Frostley this this person runs from Rick Frostley now and what else um, Rick Frostley and then uh, oh frothy bold mice although they do better with, against frothy bold mice than than uh, Rick Frostley Rick Frostley just pounds this team every time no 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 I, I can't say every time because there was one time that they beat me and that was when the fragment of anger got two stuns so uh what you gonna do man uh here let's let's give you a moonlight to help out your backline ma magic damage <laughs> I, I i aim to help what can i say Uh, what can I say? I'm here. I'm here to help you. Isn't there an SS version of Cursed Berman? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Because Moon Moon is going to solo the MPD. No, it ain't going to happen. It is not going to happen. So, you know, I would hate to have to go back to... Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go back to my my fun teams. I, I, I know, you know what I said. I'm going to have to go back and forth. The 100, 100 win club and... Uh, and my, these, these silly new teams. So, this is a perfect opportunity to show you how Rick Frostley just smashes this team in the face. I'm going to enjoy doing it too. Just just bring in your MPD and get the battle over with. What are you what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Are you are you one of those guys you're just like you barely win and then you you run with a high powered team so you win every time and then you got to gloat over it. You my friend are a bully. That's all right, because bullies run away when they get their feelings hurt. So let's, let's watch Bully run away. I will change that record in a moment. Run away, Bully. Run away. You ain't taking my lunch money. <laughs> uh, where, what do I need to change now? Um, oh, this one. Yeah, I didn't have high hopes for that team. I was, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay with losing that. I mean... I don't know. I don't know what I could. I don't. I don't know if I needed to do anything different because we're not. We don't have a big health pool there. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get some revenge because I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be the bully and like beat up on some like lame team. Oh, so, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. I got. I, I got to put the filter on. Um, some new player with a team that's not very good. Uh, ooh, Terra Claw Hatchling. Uh, it's, you're still not going to get the job done, buddy. Uh, you have two top tier pets. That, that's basically how I judge my teams now. Like, one top tier pet. Actually, I should start giving teams scores. This would be a five, because it has one top tier pet. First tier and two second tier. While this t would be a four, so they would be like one rank different than me. So you know, I'm acting like I'm you know so awesome. Like ooh, I can beat the team with two first tier pets because I'm so awesome. Well, really, 
my team here has if if you look I'm gonna do that I'm gonna start scoring my teams uh anyways my team's not that much uh better than theirs so let's see he's not gonna what's well, 292 times three oh yeah he's he's not even gonna come close to being able to take my uh take my graves down And you know what? I like to swap usually at this time to this guy, but I'm a little bit I'm a little bit off my rotation because I like the ghastly kid to take some damage first. Yeah, I'm not doing too well right now. Let's see. How many times is he gonna backline me? Two well, three times if I bring in this guy. No, I'm sorry, two times. Unless there's no stun. We're doing good. We're back on schedule. Guess what, Terra Claw Hatchling? You are certainly not going to be able to take down these undead pets. God, I love being there's there's some there's three three pets that I love beating the most, I'd say. Oh there's a lot, actually. I shouldn't just say it, but I, I mean I still love beating the idol a lot, but Beating a the Terra Claw Hatchling. These people think they're special because they can beat Graves with Terra Claw Hatchling. Oh, I just... Well, I was going to repeat myself. I just beat Graves with my Terra Claw Hatchling. <laughs> yeah, Terra Claw Hatchling is worse than Graves, people. I know you don't think that, but I do. So, And I take my cues from Donald Trump recently, and I don't need any reason to back that up, okay? I do. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. There, I'm talk, talking politics again. Uh, well, uh, you know, it's to be expected. What are you gonna do? Rather have him stun that than prevent Graves from getting a heal. All right. Well, it's a valiant effort with your four team. There you go. There you go. I now whoa that was cool. All right, well no, no stunsies. Oh, I guess he didn't have much of a chance anyway because you have a terrible. I mean a ghastly kid to face, but I would have loved to take down that Graves FOA MPD team, or or even to just watch them run away. Yeah, watching you run away is not as big a deal. Okay, so there we go. We're two and one. Sort of how I thought things would go. Up oh, there's win number three hundred. Congrats, Rick Frostley. It's a pretty good record. Three hundred twenty-five and thirteen. About three hundred and thirty-eight battles. Close to ninety percent, but not quite there. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's get away from these teams. You've seen those teams too many times. Uh, let's go with. Shall we go with Animus Bananimus? I already play with Carrying Face, right? Uh, whew, scary pet to play with. I mean, scary team to pay, play with. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. <laughs> and I called no back linesies. Because why? Well, my pet with the most health is... <laughs> it's 1,400. You tank him, buddy. Okay. Here's the plan. Start with the, the regular MPD. Oh, by the way, this team would be considered a... Oh, well, you know, if you have non-tier pets and you try to add the, you know, I was saying the lower the score would be, be the, the, the better the team. But if you, these, you can't count these guys as a zero. So I guess you'd have to count, if I, since I have a first, second, and third tier, I guess you'd have to say anything that's not on that tier is a fourth tier. So this would be an 11. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. A, a nine. A nine. <gasps> hey, I got a plan. I got a great plan. Let's take the, the most overpowered single move besides Righteous Inspiration and let's use it twice and put a first tier pet on. That team. I mean, why, why wouldn't they? I'm like making fun of them for doing that, but wh why the hell wouldn't they? So I'm assuming you're going to start with the Bone Serpent because you probably think I'm going to start with the MPD. And because you're doing that, I'm going to go with this, even though that's weak damage against you, just so I can hopefully watch you miss your Nocturnal Strike because that would be great. That would be great to see you miss your Nocturnal Strike. Okay, well, if you're going to do that instead, I'll go ahead and go to Eula. Yeah, that's fine, buddy. <whistles> now you're stunned. Now I'm going to now I'm going to hit it, it it doesn't do it's not good to bring Eula in as the second pet, but you know what? It might work out this time. Eula actually, I mean, I wouldn't say it does good, does well against bone serpents, but they 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 take such a such a big hit right there that you can always uh, you can always life exchange them, and then uh, last a little longer than they thought you would. That's the thing. Let's see. Is the MPD good enough to carry these pets? I don't think so. So let's do this. Let's bring this guy in and give you one of these. I'm hoping the Bone Serpent stays in. Oh, too much to ask for. So I think he's probably, let's see, probably going to put the shell armor up. So let's go. Yeah, see, it's not. It's it's not gonna work. It's not uh, well against against this hydroling anyway. How much is that gonna block? Mm, a lot. So I have to use this celestial blessing to hopefully take a lot off. Now I could put this up right now. I'm probably not going to get another shot even if I survive. So let's take a chance. Abba style. Put that up there. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm not going to I'm not going to get uh darn it. That's kind of bad. I didn't I didn't play that very well. So let's do this. You're going to die. Yep. MPD is not enough to carry these pets. What this would be a so basically I have a nine. I like this. I like this new. It it, it tells you just how good a team is. My team is a nine, and this would be a one, two, five. It, it's a nine versus a five. I love my new new method. I love it. I didn't play that, uh, I didn't play, I, 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 you know, like, I don't mind losing, I always tell you that, I hate making mistakes, that was a mistake on my part, I should have just gone for the kill there, I don't think it made that big of a difference, because, you know, you got Crusher back there, but, you know, mm, it was close, it was, it was close, maybe that mistake was the, the, the game right there, maybe that was it. Not over does it have not only does it have the most overpowered move in the game, or second most, first or second, it also has a move that synergizes extremely well. Oh I'm sorry, that was a that was a four team. That was a four. This is awesome. I don't I you know, I like numbers and stuff, but it's a good way to judge a team. Uh team scale. Cool. I I came up with something new uh how is this team gonna now I, I honestly i'm sort of scared now i mean double shell armor team is tough to face tough to face and you know what worse than graves 
these people who, who, who don't understand pet battles very well, they just say, Graves, Graves, Graves! No, there's much worse than Graves. Ever been RI'd before? Ever had to face uh, shell armor before? Have you ever been... Have you ever tried to face an MPD? Okay, may maybe you have. But, ooh, team scale. I think Mr. Bigglesworth might deserve to be a third tier pet. I don't know. But this is a third tier. This is a set. No, second tier, second tier. And a non tier. So we're going to call this team an eight. I love it. It's not a very good team. So if you can. But, but you know, Mr. Bigglesworth whew, probably should be on the tier list somewhere. I, I, don't, I don't look at that tier list much anymore. So. Uh, here, let me let me do something here. Oh no, I don't want to click on that. Uh, where is it? Let's see. I know you're not. I know you're not seeing the whole thing, right here. Well, where did I put that? Well, tier list. Kind of unprofessional there. I could not get it to. Anyways, Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Bigglesworth is not on there. He should be on there somewhere. Yeah, let's go take take a look at the, the tier list here. This is from my blog. Uh, there's all the pets that I'm always going on and on and on about, about being on the first tier, and then we have the second tier. And that's how I'm scoring these, these teams, in case you're wondering where. I'm just pulling these numbers out of my ass. These were, uh, what the hell? decided upon not by just me oh you know what if the if the mechanical axe beak is third tier then mr bigglesworth should probably be on there so yeah what the hell man you know 230 and i'm starting it over sometimes it gets stuck and you know what this isn't really proof. It's it's very anecdotal. Well, completely anecdotal, but one time I queued and forgot about it and I was just playing World of Warcraft when I actually used to play World of Warcraft. And I went back and the queue still hadn't popped for an over an hour. <laughs> I went back to Pet Battle and it's like, oh I'm already queued and it, it was an hour. And then I re queued. And like the queue popped immediately. So, I mean, may I mean, it's always possible that no one was playing at all for that hour, and then just at that very moment, someone decided to, to pet battle, and they queued at the same time as me. But I'm I'm going for the queue got stuck. It hap I, I I'm pretty sure it happens. Okay, what am I? I haven't been keeping track of my my scores. Uh, shoot how many of these teams did I play with I think I played with one I played with Rick Frostley I think I'm I think I'm two and two let me figure this out later because I, I don't even know what team oh god snap okay well this is doable I'd say it's doable no stunsies Right, did he waste his, uh, oh, what? Huh? I'm confused. It says spirit spikes. If there's no one, I, I don't, I, I don't get what just happened. But anyways, apparently it looks like, oh, now it says soul rush. Okay, I'm confused. I could have swore that it said spirit. I'm, I am losing my mind. Because I was thinking, if it if it was spirit spike, oh, okay, somehow, oh. I see what happened. I see what happened. Okay, and then, oh, this is called Mr. Bagglesworth because I felt kind of like a 
well, one of those kind of bags at for because it's sort of a stally team. Um, so what I wanted to do was put this up. I only played it one time, so I, I'm not sure how the flow of it is going to go. Um, I definitely don't want to put this ice barrier up now. People do that. I've done, I, they, they, they've done that so many times. And then what happens? Uh, the other player does. Well, I don't attack because I, I know that the ice barrier is going up. And then the uh, the ice tomb goes right into the ice barrier. I'm not going to do that. It's not that much of a bagel's worth. Okay, so so it would have worked against this player. So it would have worked. Oh, I would have had to do it at a different time, not that time. So let's see. Yeah, see, I don't even have the timing down. It's like there's a, there's probably a good time to do it. But I, I, don't, I don't I don't roll like that because because then you get into these uh these battles where it's like you're just oh wait what do I have here do I have ethereal what does he have available let me look up at the real one right here it's only bone storm so it could be worse. I was thinking, do I want to waste my crystal prison on Grave so he doesn't get off his bone storm? Maybe it would have been a good idea. That was 500 damage, but... <sighs> yeah. Maybe that's the moment. Later. <laughs> I tried not to say that. that. That common phrase that I hate. That moment. Later, I realized that I made the wrong call. So let's see, Fane Death is available soon. Let's hope that I don't get stunned. Okay, great. I don't think that without a lucky haymaker that, uh, we abomination is going to be able to kill my scalded basilisk hatchling, but it, there is a chance that can happen. I don't think I'm going to win this battle without it. I'm going to have to take a chance here. Didn't I say that earlier? <sighs> Haymaker could end me. Actually not, because I forgot about that. It's weak against me. Come on, give me some triples. Give me some triples, man. I want the triples. Now, this is what I was worried about. But I am th I think that he might uh, consume corpse here. One, two, three. That's what I like to see. Oh, no. Oh, he did hit me with that. But guess what? Oh. Wait, what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Even if I die, the... The ghastly kid is going to come back. Nice! Got the win. Pulled out the W. <laughs> okay, that scared me for a second. I was like, wait, is this going to work the way I think it's going to work? And like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you could hear. Like the silence. I was like, wait a second. That's going to work, right? That's totally okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I uh, thank you, um, weak haymaker. So I still got some work to do with that team. Uh, I'm not sure that I, I played it right. But, um, you know, now that... Someone made a point on the forums that now that the undead racial is being nerfed in the sense... Well, that they're thinking of nerfing it, making it so we're after you're undead. Or I don't know how it works, actually. Is it after your, your racial procs 
or is it on the next round you're gonna do 25% less damage so it might make excuse me it might make um, faster undead pets actually useful it depends on if the reduction in damage happens on that same turn the turn that you go to zero health or if it just play, takes place on the next turn um, let me figure out my record here so I had to go to Rick Frostly I don't think I played with any of these other teams I didn't play with any teams in that tab so I lost there I lost there I didn't play that I won there so that's three. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I just I got, I'm, I just give myself a win. I can't even say I lost, I lost. That's three wins now. No, okay. Two losses, one win, two wins, three wins. Okay, I'm at three and two right now. I'm at three and two. Okay. Let's go with the odd spider out. Why did I make this team? Because I was looking around for... I don't know, interesting pets to play with, and I came across the Blazing Cinder Crawler, and then it reminded me of the Molten Hatchling, and then I was like, you know what, I'll just throw those two on the same team. Put a crystal... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no! Uh, can I leave Q? Is it too late? Ah! I didn't want a crystals... Can I leave Q? I don't think I can at this point. I didn't want the crystal spider because I didn't want to have two beasts. So I actually changed it with the uh, spectral spider so I could have an elemental beast and undead. But I didn't resave it. Man, I'm a noob when it comes to those things. All right, so let's do this. Let's make graves pay. I am faster than graves with this guy, right? Uh, let's make Graves pay, or do I want to go with that one first? Here, let's let's do this. Oh, you're not starting with Graves, are you? You're, what are you gonna do? You're gonna howl me? Okay. Well, what's this? Guess what? I don't have this pet yet because I refuse to the I I refuse to do the PVE that I don't want to do. Okay. So. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get a heal real quick from from this guy, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit him we're gonna hit him with that. Oh, that's not good for you. Uh, do we want to go with this one yet? Mm, I think he's gonna howl. Will that kill me? Shoot. I think I gotta go with this right here, even though I don't want to. It's gonna howl me. You could probably kill me, and you might. Oh, oh. Okay, well. Did I already take damage with this guy? Alright, well. Now it's two pets, two versus two. Uh, what am I gonna do about the? Uh... Stun seed, I don't know. How am I gonna do with that blazing cinder crawler? against graves one on one well I can cauterize after the big hit and that's gonna cancel the big hit but really this crystal spider is um, gonna keep me down well he doesn't have he doesn't have the thing I thought he was gonna have you're rooted, I'm rooted, we're all rooted, we're rooted. Uh, now, if I could kill him, 154, no, he can, he can definitely. 
It would have been nice. I should have took the chance. I should have took the chance. I was taking chances earlier. 222. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna kill him with two. Of, oh, my beast racial. Oh, I can't forget about the beast racial. I was gonna say it would have been nice if I could have used my my spiderling swarm against graves i still may be able to three th oh no 334 i'm not oh my god you just messed up my friend because you could have killed my spider so now this is going to be big damage nice all right well go ahead and use your grave destruction on me because I am going to heal most of that damage back, if not all of that damage. Maybe more than that damage. Whoa, that was nice. Okay, I think I gotcha. Oh, yeah. Odd spider out. Very nice job, spiders. Well, I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. See what I mean? A single Graves is not that bad. People play against Graves and MPD and they're like, Oh my god, Graves is so hard. Graves is so overpowered. <laughs> my mocking voice is bad. Uh, by the way, I just got to level 60. It wasn't really my intention when I started to, to do what I did with um, Safety Dance back in... MOP and go from 1 to 90 by just pet battling. I w well, it wasn't my intention to go from 1 to 100 solely from pet battling. But I'm at level 60. I'm calling it. I'm doing it. I'm going to 100, man. I don't know if I'll get there before Legion because, well, it starts to slow down quite a bit right about now. At least it did last time. Level 60 to 70 was the, the, the toughest grind. But I wasn't wearing heirlooms back then. Now I'm wearing heirlooms. And it's only taken me 690 wins to get this far. So I don't know. Am I going to have to do... I don't, I don't even know. I'm, I'm not even going to make up some math there. But, but that was a good win. That was a nice win to get... Uh, to get uh, 60 win, to get my si level 60 on. There we go. Odd Spider out, undefeated. You know what? After after a win, like, I mean, it wasn't the most epic win ever. I mean, it was against a Doom Bloom and a, and a, uh, and a Fell Pup. Okay, let's use my scoring system. So I basically have a, tw uh, a, team with a score of 12 here and they had a nine so they were better than me. i don't know i don't know i don't know how how, how long i'm gonna run with this because it, i it's it sounds it's pretty nerdy um well i guess i'll end it with kill you kill you uh basically i took this team right here ginsu brothers well first team was macarena prohibited before graves before graves popped up this this was my go to these two teams were my my go to teams before graves um and then somehow the uh the fox started doing a little bit better because rabbits are so good cuz you can't hit them for 3 out of 5 turns but well when you can smash the back line for those 3 turns while the rabbits slowly doing little damage to you it actually doesn't work so so rabbits kind of took a hit from the all the aoe but but anyways let's let's get this done it's been a good day i mean i i i think i i didn't play at least one of those things i i made a mistake i think it was with no back linesies um let's give that let's give it another shot okay let's give it another shot so now I'm using a nine. 
<laughs> Stupid. Okay. Getting kind of tired here. My voice is getting tired. Mr. Bagels. That was a fun team to play. I like that. Oh, you know what? No, forget this. I never played with Animus Bananimus. It's a new team I've never played with yet. And I was looking through my old... Please be Zomstruck. I was looking through my older teams. And I was... Uh, Actually, Zomstruck is kind of bad, because oh, that was bad. That was a stupid thing for me to say. I immediately hope it's Zomstruck instead of the uh, Scumbag Crawdad, but, well, I guess the Scumbag Crawdad would have a shield as well. So, this team is based around getting um, ticks from getting getting heel ticks from the son of animus touch of animus but you can't get ticks against the shield so let's see let's let's give this guy a pounding whoa talk about poundings my imp is taking a pounding so let's see we're not quite in kill range how much health is he going to come back with and how much does this do the second time around? Actually, 210. It's never really enough to take him out the second time around. So I might as well take him out here. Oh, but, but if I would have put that flame breath on first, it would have been enough to do the second time around. That might have been the better thing to do. Oh, well. Oh, well. More mistakes. Call me Disco Mistake, dude. See, who do we want in against that raven? Okay, let's, uh, well, we know the shield's not going to, I mean, the ticks aren't going to work, so let's just, uh, let's just put our shield up and try to, uh, take you down with our metal fist. You going to be able to get another crap nato off? I think he is. I think he's going to be able to get another crap nato off. So if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and go like this so at least my animus can get some heals here. And then let's see. So you got that guy. I do not think I am going to win this battle. The only thing, way I think I'm going to be able to win is if I can... Uh, get the 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 dread hatchling to miss its um to to miss its what you call it what's that thing called nocturnal strike against my elemental but even then i do not think that i'm going to have enough uh oh well i'm all yeah, I'm, I'm only going to get one shot with this amp. So that's going to do 420. Be nice if something went wrong and you missed or somehow. <laughs> Glitch. Okay, so. I don't. I don't think this is going to work. Shoot, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Unless, wait, they're the same speed now. <gasps> Coin toss. Coin toss. For the win or for the loss? It's for the win! Oh my god! Very nice. Oh, oh, I was counting my chickens before they hatched. 90% chance of winning. 90% chance of winning. Yes. Oh my god. What a cool battle. Here, I want to get rid of this crap. How do I get rid of that crap? Okay, there we go. Um, what the hell? I won. But again, I made a mistake. I should have seen that coming. But I'm just so used to... I'm just so used to my fell flame being so slow. 
I'm actually kind of embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I didn't know that, you know. So it's kind of a bittersweet victory. You know I don't like to win and make mistakes. Not knowing that that Dread Hatchling has a 244 speed was a mistake. That was a big mistake. I could have, I could have planned to do what I did right there. But if I did, if I would have planned it, then maybe I would have done things differently. At any rate, you know, I went, I went five and two today. Uh, let's see. Mistake watch. Mistake watch. I, I think I played that one okay. Mistake there at the end. I think I played that one well. I think I did okay there. I think I made a mistake there. I think I was okay there. I don't. I didn't really pay attention to that one. That was a. But that was a bad one for me. I, I'll, I'll admit that I kind of checked out and I just like looked at that team and I was like, uh, I can't beat this team, which is really a punk thing to do. But, um, yeah. So I guess we'll call that one a bad battle too. That one wasn't so bad. It's just that like I. I feel that I made it. What was my mistake? It had to do with. Oh, you know, I was thinking if I if I can somehow put up the elementium bolt and take out the hydroling that the elementium bolt would fall on the next pet, but because my geode was so slow, it was going to get taken I mean, it wasn't going to get another shot off against the against the hydroling, so it it wasn't horrible. I mean, I I don't if if I remember correctly, I wasn't going to. Uh, I w it wasn't that mistake that cost me. Although it was kind of close at the end. You know what? Maybe, maybe it did because wasn't I just one round away from my thunderbolt resetting? But would my thunderbolt have been able to take? I don't know. Maybe maybe that was a huge error. But let me think about it. If I didn't do that, then I would have, what's the that? If I didn't put up the elementium bolt that turn, then let's say, let's say that I get lucky and kill him with my, whatever that thing's called, uh, feedback. I'm still sitting at really low health on the next round. Right? So it's, what did I have? 30 left? I'm still going to be sitting there with 30. So it didn't really make a difference. It didn't make a difference. Okay, so it wasn't the well, it wasn't the most well th thought out plan, but it was okay. I mean, I mean, it wasn't a good plan by me, but it wasn't a game-changing mistake. So that's that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, feeling all right. Feeling all right. Playing with some some interesting teams, and I think I only and then I made a mistake there, not by not realizing that the fell flame was going to be the same speed as the the dread hatchling. So you know, I played seven games and made one mistake, a uh, two mistakes. That's that's actually pretty bad for as much as I pet battle. I uh, so I'm gonna call it a mediocre day. However, I did come up with a new scoring system. So let's see my my scoring system here. Uh, what are Stone Grinder and they should both be on here. Stone Grinder is down here. Stone Grinder is yeah. It needs a little work. So may, maybe I need to revisit this. This was used when I used to um. When I used to do the pet of the month competition, and people would make teams, and and they would have like a team score based on, uh, you know, the 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 tiers of pets they use. So, I think yeah, I guess Stone Grinder should be down there. And then what was the other? What am I looking at right now? Uh, oh, and then Pup Curious Wolvar Pup. Both third? I guess because of the RNG. Yeah, I'd say it's a third. 
Would you say vengeful porky pets better than curious wolvar pup? I would say so. Warbot. I don't know. Warbot's taking a hit because of graves. Not a perfect list. Not a perfect list. I, I, in fact, I, I'm, I might, I might go in and change this at some point because I, I, I might start. Um, I might start using this list again for the, uh, for the league for our guild. So it might need some, 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 some work. Okay. At any rate, I'm done for today. That's my. That's my blog. Oh, those were taken with my old computer. They're so, like, not sharp. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. Wait, what am I trying to do here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I think I've done my, uh, my post, my post battle wrap up. <laughs> my, no, wait, wait, my post battle babble, battle babble, post, what's a, What's a B word that means afterwards? My debrief battle babble. No, that doesn't work. At any rate, I'm done. So that was a good day. I liked it. I hope you enjoyed it too. All right. See you later.